So the prophets ran ahead of the Son of God. The prophets ran ahead of the body of God. The prophets ran ahead of the flesh that God appointed to do his will. Now understand this, that the flesh or the Son of God had a lot of titles. Son of God, servant of God. Son of man, son of a prophet. Not that Joseph was his earthly father, but David was the father of the house that Jesus came out of, which made him son of man. He was called Lamb of God because he was an offering. He would be a sacrifice. So he was called the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Judah was one of the original sons of Jacob and there was a lion in there. The lion would be the authority or the power that would come out of Judah's tribe. The lion was the spirit. And the lion was hidden by the wool of a lamb. That's right. I hope you can get what I'm telling you. When he walked the earth, he represented power and sacrifice. Power and sacrifice. In the natural, a lion don't represent no sacrifice. And the natural, a lion represents king. Roll up authority, power. So he's called the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. The lion was in the root of David. The lion was in David's house. And when it got in David's house, you couldn't see the lion, but you could hear him when he roared. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The lion was the spirit of God. Hallelujah. And the lamb was the sacrifice of God. Hallelujah. The lion Hallelujah. and the lamb Hallelujah. stood before Lazarus' grave. Hallelujah. And the lamb said, Hallelujah. Roll the stone away. The lion said, Hallelujah. Lazarus, come forth. Come forth. Hallelujah. 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 Take off. You see what I'm telling you. So he was both lion and lamb. Inner man was God. Outer man, son of God. Inner man was Jehovah. Outer man was the offering set aside to be offered up by the high priest that abided forever. Glory to God, which is Melchizedek. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All right, listen at this now. And he went a little further and fell on his face. And then I had to go all the way down to where Dan the man stays at that because when I walked in, he was asking such a good question. Yes. Where the Son of God come from? Yeah. Mm, very good question. Mm -hmm. And uh, the world been asking that question for years. And nobody can answer without revelation, without understanding. That's right. All right, get this. And he went a little further and fell on his face and he prayed. He did what? And he went a little further. He went a little further. And fell on his face and prayed. Fell on his face and prayed. Saying, oh, my father. Oh, my father. If it be possible, let this cup pass if from me. If it's possible. If it be possible. God wasn't praying. Flesh was praying to God. That's right. Understand this, viewers. The son of man was a human body. Right. With many members, eyes, mouth, hands, toes, feet. The purpose of the Bible talking about the members because the members of the one body represent the members of the church, which is the body of Christ. That's right. For as the body is one. Listen. Now the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 12. As the body is, is one. As the church is one. As God's people are one and has many members have many members and all the members of that one all body all the members of that one body being many, being many are one body but yet one church so also is Christ what so also is Christ yes one that's right one Christ that's right head of one body head of one church so the flesh begin to cry out to the spirit oh my father oh my father if what, it what be was possible. he doing Leaving an example for the church, 
letting you know the way the church get when they don't want to do what God say do. That's right. They want a way out. That's right. And sometimes they try to pray to get out. That's right. But uh, not even Jesus got an answer. Amen. Hear this now, viewers, get this. I said Jesus prayed and God wouldn't answer him. Amen. So I said, wasn't he going to answer himself? He wasn't talking to himself. No. It was two natures. There was the nature of flesh. Look at Pastor Jennings now. Amen. You see my outer nature, flesh, that have a birthday, that have a beginning. One day it will have an ending. But there's an ending. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But there's an inner man. Amen. That's God within man. That's right. God in man. That's right. When God is in a woman, God is not the woman, but that's God in a woman. That's right. To which God was in Christ Jesus. God was not the man. God was in the man. And then the man had the title of the God that was in him. That's right. The man of him took on the name of God. God's name is not God. God's name is Jesus. And being that God won a sacrifice, he went to the house of David, went to the tribe of Judah, got into the descendants of Shem, the brother of Ham and Japheth, the sons of Noah, and made a sacrifice, and then allowed the sacrifice to inherit his name. Being made so much better than the angels. Do you hear this in the book of Hebrews? Hebrews chapter 1 and at verse 4. Focus on the language of the apostle Paul. Being made. What? Being made. That's not God. That's right. It ain't talking about God there. That's right. God ain't made. Amen. God is the maker. Son of God is me. That's right. And how was he made? Being made so much better than he the angels. He was made better. Better than the angels. Than the angels. As All he, that. Amen. How is he made better than the angels when the Bible said when God made these things, it was good. That's right. <laughs> huh? God saw that he made this, it was good. good. He saw that he made that, it was good. He saw that he made the other, it was good. But when it came to the making of the Son of God, being made so much better, it was made better than the angels. Why? Mm. When God made the angels, he made the angels and they was holy from the beginning of their creation. That's right. But when he made the Son of God, he was made holy from his creation, but he didn't start off man. So when God made the Son of God, Revelation called him a man child, meaning a male child. Right. And God was in the child. Right. And yet when God was in the child, the child had to develop and, and take on the complete characteristics of the God that was in it. That's right. The spirit that was in him knew everything. I said the spirit that was in him knew everything. That's right. His flesh had to grow. That's right. His flesh had birthdays. That's right. His flesh had to crawl. That's right. His flesh had to walk. That's right. His flesh had to learn to speak. Jesus but increased. But not God. That's right. His he flesh increased. had to be taught That's right. by God. That's right. So when we preach Jesus Christ as God, we're talking about that which was here long before Mary was born. That's right. We're talking about that which is divine. We're talking about that which led Israel, thank God, out of the hands of the Egyptians. We're talking about he that made the heavens and the earth and Pallades and Orion and Arthicus and Job said in the chambers of the south. We're talking about spirit. We're talking about that which was here before Mary was born. There's a separation in the nature of God and the Son of God, just like there's a separation in the nature of the Holy Ghost and the human family. That's right. When God come in us, that's the Holy Ghost. He come in you to straighten out your temple. He come in you to govern your temple. He come in you to teach your temple. But your temple is not God. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. 
But there's a separation in your nature. Yeah. That's why when a man die, he go, there's a separation of two different locations of his being. That's right. Give me the book of Ecclesiastes quick now. Amen. Just like when God made man, one element came from heaven. Yeah. Another element came from earth. That's right. And when man died, those two elements separate all over again. In the book of let's Ecclesiastes. Let's get man's creation first, and then let's get man death. Listen to me good now. In the, In the book, book of Genesis, quick. Amen. When God made Adam, Amen. I want to show you the two elements that came. One from above, one from beneath. In the book of and Genesis. And when man died, one go beneath, and the other part go above. That's right. All right, follow me and hear me. Let me educate you, and I'll stitch you up good with Jesus. Dan the man stays at Jack. He, he, he start off the sewing machine and thank God I just want to keep threading the needle you know. Alright. Genesis chapter 2 at verse 7. Follow me. And the Lord God formed man. Listen good. And the Lord God formed man. Lord God formed man. Of the dust of the ground. Of the dust of the ground. And breathed right into his nostrils. Right then to show you where man came from. That's right. Man is a product of earth. That's right. Man come from ground. But in order for man to move, what happened? And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. That didn't come from the earth. Right. That came from above. That's right. Why? Because life is a gift. Yeah. Life, I say, That's right. is a gift. That's right. Glory to God and James says, every good gift and every perfect or complete gift come from above. Mm -hmm. And it comes down from the Father of lights of whom there is no variable no shadow of turning. Right. So when man was created, his body came from earth and his breath come from above. Right. Now look at what happened to you when you die. Now in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 7. That's what? Then shall the dust, dust return to the earth. What? What? Dust goes return to the earth. As it was. Read all of it. Get the whole sentence. Don't break up the statement. Listen at this now. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. You hear that? As it was. That lets you know where dust come from. The origins of dust come from earth. That's where it was. That's why when you die, you don't go to heaven. That's why when you die, your dust don't go to heaven. Mm -mm. Your dust go back to earth. You can see the funeral director at the grave grabbing d dirt as a symbolic thing. Dust go back to dust. Dust go back to dust. Why? Your physical body didn't come from heaven. But the purpose of your physical body came from heaven. That's right. The purpose of it. All right. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. Then dust return to the earth as it was. And the spirit. Oh. And the spirit. Shall return unto God who gave it. Oh, that goes to God. That's right. There's a separation. And they both come to meet. To create man. And there's a separation. When man come to an end. That's right. When God made that body of the son of God. There's a separation from the human and the divine, from God and the Son of God, from lion and the lamb. There's a separation in nature. One nature is eternal. The other nature was temporal. It is written, those things that are seen are temporal, and that which is not seen is eternal. So God took on flesh. Now you apostolics say, God became a man. That's one of the biggest lies out there. God ain't never became what he took on. No. 